Acne vulgaris is one of the top 10 most prevalent diseases worldwide. It's a chronic inflammatory skin condition that begins as early as age 9 and may persist well into adulthood. Acne is centered around the pilosebaceous unit and leads to early lesions called microcomedos before clinically visible open and closed comedones and inflammatory lesions develop. This process is driven by four main interrelated pathogenic factors excess sebum production, follicular hyperkeratinization, microbial changes, and inflammation. The clinical presentation of acne is variable, involving comedonal lesions, blackheads and whiteheads, and inflammatory lesions, papules, pustules, and nodules. Regardless of severity, acne can have a significant psychosocial burden, frequently reducing self-esteem, impairing social functioning, and increasing risk of depression and suicidal ideation. Acne may also lead to permanent scarring, especially if treatment is delayed or inadequate. Effective treatment strategies focus on addressing the key underlying pathogenic factors implicated. Topical retinoids help normalize follicular keratinization and reduce inflammation. Benzoyl peroxide and antibiotics have antibacterial and anti-inflammatory effects, it is recommended to use benzoyl peroxide alongside any antibiotics prescribed for acne to reduce and avoid bacterial resistance emerging. Azelaic acid also impacts on multiple pathways. Clascoterone, a newly approved antiandrogen, is the only topical treatment currently available to reduce sebum production. It also has anti-inflammatory properties. Systemic therapies also aim to target more than one pathophysiological factor implicated in acne. Oral antibiotics and hormonal treatments, such as spironolactone and oral contraceptives, used off-license are available. Oral isotretinoin is able to address all four pathogenic factors. It requires strict risk management due to its teratogenicity and proven and reported side effects. While acne treatments are generally well tolerated, it is important to consider their safety profiles. Local prescribing practices, reimbursement and product availability may also differ depending on national regulatory frameworks. Acne guidelines such as NICE, European and AAD guidelines recommend multimodal treatment strategies targeting different pathogenic factors including fixed dose topicals, and systemic agents where appropriate. Early, tailored combination therapy improves outcomes and prevents long-term sequelae like scarring. Therapy selection should consider multiple factors, taking into account the clinical history and presentation, disease severity burden and duration, as well as prior therapy and response. A multimodal strategy which combines agents that target different pathogenic mechanisms will achieve better outcomes for patients. In conclusion, acne is not a trivial disease. Recognizing its pathophysiology and psychosocial burden and adopting a multimodal, guideline-driven approach can significantly improve treatment outcomes and patient quality of life.